Well, good Tuesday morning, everyone. A rare morning update from me because I think it's worth it. It's a severe weather day. We've got tornadoes on the table, strong damaging winds, some really large hail possible. And some of these tornadoes could be long tracked, strong tornadoes that could get violent. So we're going to sort of break that down. I'm going to give you some of the newest data this morning before you start your day or if you're starting your day, uh, hopefully you, you can catch up if you've not seen some of the latest data. So here's what we're watching. I'm going to break down the basics of what's happening. A strong area of low pressure moving toward the Great Lakes. I don't want to minimize what's happening on the back side of this. We've got some winter storm warnings up here in the parts of Wisconsin already. Also some winter storm watches out for the Catskills, the Adirondacks, and a lot of the Northeast, especially in the parts of Maine and New Hampshire and Vermont. Uh, some heavy snow going to be happening here. Head to weather.gov to get the latest warnings for your area. But the severe weather, it's going to be right in here. And let's just focus in now on what the Storm Prediction Center has done. I think they're looking at some of the new data overnight, and they've pushed that moderate risk now down the Ohio River, close to Louisville. In fact, I would argue Louisville is in that area. And then up toward Lexington, and then just to the right here where the Kentucky, uh, West Virginia, and Ohio boundary is here right along the Ohio River so it's almost on the Ohio River slightly into West Virginia regardless don't get hung up on exactly where this line is in and around this area I think that's going to be the highest risk and really even in this uh, enhanced area we're talking about a three out of five on the scale here the red is a four out of five chance of seeing severe weather so this is a high risk day uh, not just for strong damaging winds but tornadoes this is the tornado outlook you see this hashed area it has now been pushed into a few different areas now it's a little bit further south very close to Birmingham now um, over to Tuscaloosa a lot of Mississippi I don't know if it's all the way down to Starkville but close enough that if you're in northern Mississippi from Tupelo north and to Jackson, Tennessee, not quite to Memphis, but still we've got the storms here. A lot of the severe weather is going here now, uh, and there's also some strong storms going through Ohio. So the morning, this isn't it. We're seeing some decent storms now heading into to this afternoon, later today. That's when the real storms will kick off, uh, and they're going to start from west to east. But yeah, back into parts of Ohio, uh, northern Kentucky, and I would, would argue the lowlands of West Virginia could experience some tornadoes today. And the thing is, especially back in this area, some of those tornadoes could be long track, meaning they're on the ground for a long time. They could be violent and, and very strong because the dynamics are certainly there. Uh, this is the prob probabilistic wind outlook heading into today. So you have a large hashed area. So even if you don't see a tornado, you could have strong damaging severe thunderstorm winds with these storms that are moving through. A quick look at the significant tornado parameter, definitely elevated. Anything over a one is a risk and it's pretty high. You would argue that some of those cells try to work into the Virginias here and look down into the south. They start to weaken as it heads off into Georgia, but still, I think you got to keep an eye on this too. Strong jet streak still showing up here in the upper levels and the mid levels of the atmosphere moving through out ahead of it on the front right side. That's where your severe weather is going to be. And uh, let's time some of this out on the future radar. There's those storms going through Ohio tonight. We've got the big severe weather back across Kentucky and Tennessee, bringing a few isolated tornadoes. But then as we move into the afternoon, that's when we're really going to start to see things fire up and get even stronger. Uh, and then timing things out, I think we see some sunshine here in some areas of Ohio, not good. Uh, and then as we move into the evening hours, those storms continue to push off to the east and then they start to line up. So now we're looking at areas from Dayton all the way down to, to Louisville. So this is what, four o'clock central. So sometime late this afternoon and this evening, that will be the highest threat and then as we head into the late evening hours, 7, 8, 9 o'clock, we're not going to be done with things. So from Columbus down to Frankfurt, getting close to Lexington, these cells all in this area, they will start to weaken. But there's a lot of wind shear in the atmosphere. And again, you, could, you saw where that tornado risk, even though uh, we see those cells kind of falling apart, the Storm Prediction Center, I tell you, if we were just looking at this risk, okay, this... Uh, 5% risk here, you would still be really paying attention for tornadoes in these areas, even in the, to the green. So even in the overnight hours, as these cells push off to the east, I think they have to be watched here into Virginia, uh, even down into North Carolina, and uh, definitely across the deep south, because we have another jet streak that we're going to have to be paying attention to, and the severe weather into parts of Alabama, Georgia, maybe even into South Carolina as we head into tomorrow.
And timing things out across the south, here we are Tuesday morning. We will have rain showers going back from Mississippi to Alabama. Even some of these cells moving close to Nashville as we head into the afternoon could be strong to tornadic. And then here's the cells breaking out into Mississippi along our front. So watch these from Tupelo all the way north into Tennessee. So now we're looking at West Tennessee, Jackson, back to Dryersburg, even Memphis, northern parts of Alabama. Now we're starting to see these cells break out, supercells possible, and then they'll move into parts of Alabama as we move into the evening hours and still part of Mississippi too. And then Tennessee all the way down, again, Alabama, Mississippi, and I wouldn't discount anything that might even form here along the Gulf Coast. So overnight tonight, things moving again into Alabama, Georgia. Yes, watch these cells even to the early morning hours and then into tomorrow, we'll see everything again push off to the east into parts of the Carolinas and then into Florida. A quick look at the snow side of things. This is going to be a heavy snow. These are 10 to 1 ratios, meaning 10 inches of snow per 1 inch of rain. I think this ratio may be closer to 7 to 1, maybe even 6 to 1, meaning a heavier wet snow. So instead of saying, let's pretend it was a 5 to 1 just for math, instead of 20 inches, you'd get 10 inches on the model. So that doesn't mean you're getting less liquid equivalent. It just means it's going to be more compact and heavier and sloppy. So kind of a mess. We could even see some accumulating snows down into the Appalachians through Friday and then into the northeast, the Adirondacks, the Tug Hill Plateau, the Catskills, and then especially as you move into parts of Maine. This is where we're going to really see some snow pile up. So look at these totals through Friday now. Some areas, and I think that these may actually come to pass, close to two feet into the, some of the highest elevations into the mountains. Winter storm watches up again for a lot of these areas. Weather.gov is where you need to get the latest. But again, the big threat today will be tornadoes in these areas. Be weather aware today. Have a great day.